So today we're talking about Bombardier's new airplane. It's the Challenger 3500, which is not so much of a new airplane, but the evolution, the next step of evolvement of the Challenger 350, which before was called the Challenger 300. A Challenger 300 is a popular aircraft, 450 built. Then they upgraded it, um, changed a few things, uh, upgraded avionics engines, um, cabin and that and call it the Challenger 350, uh, built about 350 of those. So there's about 800 of these airplanes so far flying around. And now Bombardier have gone back to the drawing board to modify the 350 and turn it into the 3500. Now what they've done with the name 3500, like the 7500, they've uh, brought the cabin amenities that uh, uh, the Global 7500 has into the uh, Challenger 3500. Uh, one of the things is, for example, the new Arge seats. These are very comfortable seats. Uh, new technology with the seats there uh, and they've brought these into the Challenger uh, 350 model now called 3500. Uh, they've also brought the cabin altitude down by another 2,000 feet so now the cabin altitude at 41,000 feet is just 4,850 feet which this um, uh, brings a lot of comfort to the passenger. They've also upgraded the cam cabin management system so you can maneuver the, the things in the cabin like you know the volume on the TV the air conditioning whatever from your phone by downloading an app um, so that's a, a feature that's been built into it uh, the range is now a 3,400 nautical miles so comfortably do coast to coast LA to New York um, I know a number of people that operate the Challenger 300s across the Atlantic it's just one fuel stop and if you're not doing it uh, many times a year if you're doing it three or four times a year uh, it may be a better option to have an airplane like a Challenger 3500 uh, to do this as it's you know cheaper to run uh, and cheaper to buy than, than buying you know a 5,000 nautical mile range airplane for example. So there are people that use it for that. It's comfortable cabin, uh, carries six to eight people very comfortably as you can see. Uh, price point for the new jet, new jet is 26.7 million dollars, um, and you know you, you get all the the bells and whistles that I just mentioned uh, with the new airplane. But you know um, if your, your budget is a bit lower, um, you can buy yourself a Challenger 300 for seven million dollars. 2004 and you can upgrade the cabin um, and make the cabin very similar to the 3500 they spent a couple of million dollars so under 10 million you can get yourself an aircraft which is very similar to this uh, it's not for everybody I mean uh, as I always say you know we can only give general information here on BizJet TV if you want to get specific I suggest you just ping me an email we'll schedule you in for a call and we'll sort of go through a number of questions and figure out what your needs are business jet wise and see what we can do but you know there's also a lot of scope um, by buying an older aircraft and upgrading it um, instead of buying a new one. But there are also a lot of advantages in buying a new one. But again, it depends on your personal circumstance. So that's all from me on this episode. If you haven't subscribed to Bizjet TV, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. Give us a thumbs up and comment below what do you think of this new Challenger 3500. And that's all from Fabrizio Pony Bizjet TV, and I'll see you on the next one.